Hello friends and welcome to another modern stream. Today we're going to be playing the Bant Spirits deck. A fairly classic list. We're copying, excuse me, we're copying Dr. Queller and using the uh, the last list that was published that uh, they 5 0 with. Um You'll notice it isn't playing uh, the new Changeling card. Um, I'm going to give that a try, I think, on Friday. But uh, it seems the consensus is the card isn't quite good enough. So a lot of people have uh, decided not to play it. Um, also, you might notice that this list is not playing the Glass Pool Mimic. I think a lot of people, especially... Um, when they've decided to play Collective Company. Uh, the consensus again has been that it's not quite good enough and they would just rather have an actual good spirit. Okay, we have a turn one Noble Hierarch. Um, just in general, I really like having that option. And we also have Mausoleum Wanderer Rattle Chains. So I definitely like keeping this. Okay, our opponent is starting at 6. I think we'll probably want to start with Waterlogged Grove. Gives us uh, blue mana for other spells. And Cavern of Souls isn't going to cast our Hierarch. Basic Plains. I wonder if this is maybe Death and Taxes. Alright, so I'm thinking we're going to want to play Rattle Chains Mausoleum Wanderer this turn. So in that case, we probably just play Cavern of Souls Spirit. And then the Skull Captains will have Flash. Okay, if I play the Rattle Chains, then the Mausoleum Wanderer has Flash. And I don't think opponent's going to be throwing out counter spells at our Rattle Chains. So we can probably just pass here without making a play. And it looks like we're holding up a uh, spell queller. Okay, so here our rattle chains cannot be countered. And then we'll go ahead and flash in the Mausoleum Wanderer. Okay. Ooh, this could be really good for us. Um, they're going to path the Rattle Chains. So we're going to go ahead and try a Drug Skull Captain. Giving our Rattle Chains Hexproof. Also, the Drog Skull can't be countered. And we have a Mausoleum Wanderer that would be able to counter a uh, follow-up spell. So the opponent goes ahead and scoops him up right there. So we didn't get to see too much of what the opponent is doing. We've seen white and blue sources. We've seen Path to Exile. And that's about it, huh? Um, Force of Negation probably isn't too far off. Just wondering what I should take out for the two Force of Negation. I'm going to want to keep a healthy supply of blue cards um, to discard. Maybe one of the Skyclaves. I'm going to want to keep the Selfless Spirits. I might even want to bring in Remorseful Cleric. And if they're doing the Cascade thing, then we might want to bring in Damping Sphere.
Uh, no lands makes this an easy mulligan. Uh, we can keep this. We gotta put something back though. Oh, opponent has straight conceded from the match. Uh, so we go ahead and pick up a free win. We have a lot of lands in this hand. Um, I'm not too interested in this. I want to mull too many lands, and then we also have more sources of mana. Mausoleum Wanderers are only spirit. This hand kind of sucks. Way more interested in this hand. Could maybe ditch the Cavern of Souls here. I think I'm pretty interested in keeping this. Start with Noble Hierarch. Okay, so they are playing humans. And it looks like they have a Hierarch to match our own. I wonder if we go ahead and Skyclave that. would stemmy their mana quite significantly. And here's a meddling mage. What do they name with that? Maybe uh, Skyclave again. Could be Collected Company. Spell Queller. Okay, solid. We get Collected Company, but we don't quite have the mana to put it out. Um, we could play Supreme Phantom, and that would increase the power toughness of the Apparition here. I think that's a pretty good play. Swinging for four. We could have also Skyclaved the Meddling Mage here. Um, I think that would have also been a fine play. Just keep the opponent's board empty and allow us to swing in for damage turn after turn. And we might have been able to Supreme Phantom or Collect a Company next turn. But this way we can keep the uh, secondary apparition for something uh, more consequential. For example, a Mantis Rider. Another collect a company, but we don't have the mana to cast it. Okay, opponent has conceded from the game. We're playing against humans, we're going to want the path to exiles, and I think that's everything we need from the sideboard. Uh, we're going to want to take a couple cards out. Spell Queller is interesting. Skyclave is probably our best card in the matchup. Uh, Selfless Spirit doesn't seem too hot. Rattle Chains, is, it's, it's alright. Uh, counters um, Reflector Mage. I think the Mausoleum Wanderers are probably some of our worst cards in this matchup, so maybe we take out three of those 
for the three paths. Uh, this hand is fine. Turn one hierarch, and then turn two, we have access to captain, rattle chains, so options. Ooh, another hierarch, okay. So that'll give us access to collected company. Um, let's just go ahead and fetch up a land and play the hierarch, I guess. Probably want to go for a breeding pool. Uh, Temple Garden also looks quite good. Okay, so they tapped the canopy and then untapped it. Maybe they have access to a path? I think we're just going to play the Hierarch and pass. Ah, oh, an attack looks pretty good here too. So they're going to know we have something up our sleeve. Okay, here comes the Thalia's Lieutenant. So that's going to make their champion of the parish a 3-3. Three, three. And they have the Aether Vial Activision for maybe another Thalia's Lieutenant? No, an Aether Vial. Or, sorry, <laughs> a Thalia itself. So the champion of the parish here is going to get quite large. I think we can probably take four, keep our mana this turn. We'll have access to Collected Company plus a block next turn. Maybe a block here is right. We don't want to be taking too much damage. Okay, so we can play Selfless Spirit and Supreme Phantom. Make our creatures indestructible. That seems pretty fair. And it also looks like we're holding up Collected Company, which we are. Oh, because of Thalia, we're not, of course. Oh, that's a uh, wrong land. Okay, that's fine. We're fine.
Ooh. That's a pretty good one. Okay, that's going to get us. They bring in Plague Engineer on Spirit, so we lose all our dudes. And we don't even get a chance to sacrifice the Selfless Spirit. Miss the first game every time. Hey there, Blind. Um, so this time, our first match was basically a first game that went maybe three turns. So it was, it was done pretty quick. Oh, let's see here. Because of the Thalia, we can't collect a company. There's all this aggr aggression coming at us. We can play the Drog Skull Captain. That gets us two blockers. Um, but I think we're just toast. We can concede here. Uh, yeah, this hand is fine. Aether Vial is going to get us quite a bit of mana. We can throw down um, a Selfless Spirit or a Supreme Phantom, turn two, and then hopefully Spell Queller. Humans can be pretty tough. We're both doing the same kind of thing. Um, what I really like about this is that, for the most part, our creatures are evading theirs. But they're so fast. Okay, so we're both starting with Aether Vial turn one. Botanical Sanctum, that's a land that doesn't cause us damage. We're going to play the Selfless Spirit here. No, we're not, because we don't have white mana. Wow. Okay, so I was thinking Botanical Sanctum, because it's one of the uh, less than three lands. But I didn't take a second here and see that I wanted a white land for the Selfless Spirit. So we're just going to have to play the Supreme Phantom this turn and pass. I wanted to play the Selfless Spirit because that would be attacking for quite a bit more damage on our turn 3 than the Supreme Phantom could. Noble Hierarch. Okay. So we have our 3 mana for the um, Spell Caller to counter something that they play with their lands, not the Aether Vial. And Selfless Spirit comes in off the Aether Vial itself. Uh, I think we just pass here. Supreme Phantom blocks the Thalia pretty well. Okay, that's another Hierarch. Okay, they're getting right into combat here, and the Hierarch is going to make the Thalia um, strong enough to kill the Phantom unless I sacrifice a Selfless Spirit here. I'm not sure that that's really worthwhile. Maybe we just take the three here. And then they're going to, um, oh, okay. I was a little bit confused when I saw them tapping the Hierarch. I didn't think they are going to uh, spend mana here when I have an obvious Spell Queller up. Okay, so we set the Aether Vial to three. We now have double Spell Queller. But I'm thinking I wouldn't mind putting out a Noble Hierarch here and attacking for four in the air. Let 
Now, if I want to play another Selfless Spirit, it's going to cost me two life. I think that's probably still worthwhile. And we have Spell Queller off the Aether Vial. We can throw one of these into play even if they don't present a spell for us to counter. Just so we have extra power in the air. Um, we're already swinging for six, so this would be another three, making it nine, two turn clock. Okay, here's a Mantis Rider. It says it can't be countered, but maybe we try anyway. Exactly. Blind knows what's up. Spell Queller exiles a spell. It doesn't actually counter it. But they probably have a um, Reflector Mage here, so they're going to return the Spell Queller to our hand. And they'll be able to get the um, Mantis Rider back. Okay, so we could kill the Mantis Rider here. They won't have Path because of Thalia, so we can double block. And then sacrifice a Selfless Spirit. Now we want to do this because we want the Mantis Rider out of the way, so we can continue to attack in the air. Alright, let's go ahead and say always no and always yield to this Aether Vial. Unfortunately, we just draw a land here. So maybe we maybe we draw a card with the Canopy. Probably want to go for the Grove to draw a card, actually. Another Noble Hierarch. I mean, that does um, add some extra damage, actually. We'll keep this Hierarch untapped in case we need to block with it, but otherwise we're set to attack for 5, and we have Spell Queller ready to go. We're also bluffing a path with these 2 mana. Now opponent does know we do have Spell Queller here. I guess we'll just take three. And we'll take the bait here with the champion, counter it with the spell queller. And we win. Okay. This hand is um, not great, but very interesting. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to play Aether Vial into Double Hierarch. And hopefully we get a land to go with it, so we can get our Collected Company going pretty quick. Opponent pausing here. Hopefully they don't have a... Oh, they do have a counter spell. Okay, so they trade Force of Negation plus a Jace for my Aether Vial there. Uh, hopefully we draw land. Nope, we get punished. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try Aether Vial again. Oh, a force spike. So we're playing against a uh, 
a counterspell deck here. Haven't seen Sungar's Scorn cast in modern um, in quite some time, if ever. We are in for something spicy. We're going to get killed by dragons. Okay, we do get a land here, so we can play our two Hierarchs. Um, next turn, if we're lucky, we can Skyclave the Sarkin, so that they, can, uh, they don't get that ramp anymore. I want to keep them off casting whatever nonsense they got in their deck. Maybe they just, like tick it up until they make a bunch of dragons? I don't know. I'm just not interested in letting them do that. Okay, so they're going to discard the Cryptic Command to draw the Lightning Bolt and kill our other Hierarch. And they have the Sark in here ready. We just really need to draw land and we miss. Well, it's not quite ready to ultimate. We've got another couple turns. But opponent now has four untapped blue mana. So last turn was our real chance to Skyclave apparate this Sarkin. Now, fortunately, opponent does just play the land out like that, so we're going to be able to get rid of their Sarkin, guaranteed. Um, they can Lightning Bolt our Skyclave Apparition, and that will give them a 3-3 token, but at least they're not going to get four 5-5 five, five Red Dragons. Far too many chances. Okay, so we have double green, we have blue, and we have white. We need double white, but we don't ever need double blue. So I think we can just go get planes and be happy with that. Bye-bye, Sarkin. Okay, so I'm guessing they go for Lightning Bolt. Nope, they go for the Cryptic Command instead. Spirits in this economy? I know, right? It must be a madman. Well, we haven't seen Tybalt yet. So fingers crossed, maybe it stays that way. Um, we're just going to hold up Spell Queller and Collected Company here. Okay, it looks like opponent is doing something. So I think we probably just quell this uh, Cryptic Command. Get another creature on the board, and then if we can draw Skull Captain, we're looking really good. Opponent only has one draw here. And it looks like they're passing. I, a Spirits has always been pretty solid, and it's actually been taking up a larger part of the meta share recently. I think actually Spirits would be pretty good against Tybalt. I think 50-50 is great if you're talking about your matchup versus an S-tier deck. Okay, so we have some options here. Opponent didn't do anything on their turn. Four Verdicts? Yeah, why not? Just trying to consider how I want to play out this turn here. If I want to hold up the Collected Company or play the Drogskull Captain, I kind of think I just want to hold up Company here. We're attacking for four. 
we're going to have the pressure Nice. Okay. Opponent wasn't able to draw out of it. So we're dealing with some sort of counterspell deck. Yeah, I think that most people say the uh, Azurius version is slightly better. I do really like having access to three mana on turn two, though which is one of the reasons that I personally prefer to play Bant. So we could play the Force of Negation as a way to um, counter their counter spells. But I'm not sure if that's really the best. Maybe our main deck is just where we want to be. We could bring in some number of Remorseful Cleric, uh, maybe a single Rest in Peace. I definitely wouldn't want to bring in both, but I wouldn't mind having a single one. Maybe I just have the clerics. Yeah, I think you're right, Blind. I think that's going a little bit too far. Especially, like, bringing in the Remorseful Clerics is almost free. And they kind of counter the um, Mystic Sanctuary. We just got to figure out what we want to cut. Um, we could probably cut uh, one of the Selfless Spirits... I don't think they're going to have as much in the way of Wraths as they might have in, like, Path and uh, Settle the Wreckage, would be my guess. But they could absolutely have the 4-mana um, the Wrath, and in that case we can exile it with Spell Queller. And we'll keep the two Selfless Spirits in. Um, otherwise, I like the Rattle Chains, I like the Mausoleum Wanderers... I like the whole deck, basically. Maybe we'll take out one Skyclave. Um, they don't seem to have too many permanents on their side. We will want to be able to have access to Skyclave to hit their Jace. Yep. Yep. Probably don't have too many Wraths, but if they manage to resolve one, that's uh, pretty much GG. Um, so we have a lot of lands here. A lot of lands. None of them draw cards. I think I still keep it, but I'm really not impressed with it. And maybe we, we regret this keep by the end of the game. Bon dia, handsome. Okay, they're starting out with a Mystic Sanctuary. That's one uh, that I won't have to worry about them fetching out later. Non-land, that's what I like to see. Uh, so we're just going to throw out the Aether Vial this turn. Um, I think I'm going to want to really focus on blue mana. So we'll probably just throw down the Breeding Pool. Cascade Bluffs. And Petty Theft on the Aether Vial. Okay. That sets me back a little bit. I think I'm probably going to play the... Hmm, I think I play the Aether Vial and the Mausoleum Wanderer this turn. Oh, that sounds like a good time. Brandon, Joyce, and Greg? Yeah, that sounds like a great time. A little bit jealous. How'd that go? Chaff Draft? All right. Yeah, you were telling me that you were going to do that. That's pretty cool.
yeah, it just seems like a really fun thing to do. And that's a good group of uh, good group of people to play games with for sure. <laughs> Joyce went four zero. That's uh, not exactly a surprise. Um, bit of an inside joke, I guess. I don't know if you could call it a joke or what, but Joyce is one of the better uh, card players in Halifax, no doubt. Okay, so the Blood Moon is going to nullify all of my lands. I didn't use my fetches. So these aren't going to be able to fetch a planes out. Um, we're in quite a bit of trouble here with that Blood Moon. If we can draw Basic Forest, of which we have one, we can get this collected company going. Engineered explosives on one gets rid of the Aether Vial and the Mausoleum Wanderer. Opponent is not pulling any punches. There's no way they let the, the Aether Vial get to two. They gotta crack that right now. Yeah, okay. I think we can concede this one. Maybe we draw a couple more cards just to see if we get basic forest. They haven't put any kind of pressure on us yet, so yeah, we can draw some cards. Still no basics. Still wouldn't want them to mana leak the collected company. That would be backbreaking. Just a whole bunch of draw go going on over here. Opponent has the single blue. We have no colored mana besides red. We are drawing plenty of lands, but none of them tap for the mana we're, le we're looking for. So we'll just keep on drawing cards and passing the turn back. Because that's what magic is. Come on, basic land off the top. Well, that's an Aether Vial, that plays. They have a Remand. Oops, uh, turn off auto yields. Whew, that was close. I was so used to just hitting six that I actually almost passed the turn. I think you're right. Um, if they had used these fetch lands earlier, and manage to go get more islands, they'd be totally fine. But, uh... Yeah. This engineered explosives is a bit of a pain. What do we get? Skyclave, that's a no-go. We're just gonna have to pass and discard. Um, what do we discard here? We could. I want to keep at least one Skyclave gets rid of Blood Moon. Although the Blood Moon is harming the opponent as much as it is harming us. And Skyclave costs double white. So that's probably the one we get rid of. Um, we have one basic of each. Uh, forest, Plains, and Island. Makes sense. Because, yeah, we're not getting to that uh, at any time soon. Aether Vial. Okay, that works. 
Getting close, we can put Noble Hierarch out next turn. And I wanted to concede. Play another Steam Vents, that's not an island. Might be an island in some other games, but not in this one. Yeah, it seems worse and worse and worse. Like in a blue moon deck, you want to play a lot of basic islands. Moorland Haunt, that's a mountain. Uh, we'll just pass here. Okay, so opponent is passing. We're going to get a Noble Hierarch out. And if they let us go to our upkeep, and they do, we now have access to Collected Company. How exciting is that? Okay, we're just going to pass here. We have access to Selfless Spirit, Supreme Phantom, and Collected Company. No F6. I got my finger on the one. We're going to go to the end of opponent's turn here, and then we'll collect a company. Um, we could wait. Okay, so they're going to um, make us react now. <laughs> so we could put in Selfless Spirit and save the Hierarch, or we could just go ahead and collect a company right now. I'm going to collect a company, I think. I would have liked to have been able to hold up Spell Queller while I had company going. Okay, so they have a Remand. So I think we're going to save the Hierarch here. Indestructible, sweet. Okay, this turned out pretty well. Oh, they have the second island. Okay, so now we have Aether Vial at three, so we can spell quell. And we just pass here, I think. It does give them access to double blue if we pass. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of holding this one up my sleeve. So, hopefully we fool them. It's an illusion. Oh, they got the third island. That's what we get for hesitating. Okay, so we're going to play the Collected Company into the Cryptic Command, and then we'll counter their Cryptic Command, right? Ouch! niv miss it. Wild. I guess we Collected Company in response? What's going on, handsome? Cleric? The remorseful cleric? Cleric can exile it. I don't understand. Yeah, the remorseful cleric exiles graveyards. Okay. Okay, so we got Rattle Chains and Supreme Phantom. 
We also got Mausoleum Wanderer and Noble Hierarch. So Noble Hierarch is going to get us more mana. Oh, Hanged Executioner, that's, uh, okay, that's cool. Oh, Anger of the Gods, and we can't put the Selfless Spirit into play? I think that might just be GG here. We could get the Drog Skull Captain out... I guess we just, no, we can spell quell this. Okay, so we're fine. We can quell it. They are going to be able to kill one of our noble hierarchs, though. I mean, yeah, but they're probably still going to just kill us with this niv -Mizzet. Like, we didn't put Path in. Uh, let's see here. Always No, Always Yield. Another Supreme Phantom. So we can get one of our Supreme Phantoms out, or we can get a Selfless Spirit out. Uh, we get Supreme Phantom out, and then we have Drog Skull Captain to back it up, so that's probably our play. It's almost too bad the uh, Noble Hierarch made this a 5-6. I would have been fine with it attacking as a 4-5. Uh, a and then maybe they block, and I get to bring in the Drogskull Captain, and gotcha! Going for the Jace here. Okay, we're going to Drogskull Captain in response to that. Nice. That worked. Uh, no touchy. What the heck is this? Whenever Goldspan Dragon attacks or becomes target of a spell, create a treasure. Treasures you control have add two mana. And it has haste. Okay. Yeah, attack would be pretty bad for the opponent. Oh, they're going for it. So they're making a treasure. So we can't really double block, though. We can single block with Supreme Phantom. And they just bounce. But any double block, we lose a creature. We could lose one of the Supreme Phantoms to kill this dragon.
Not too into that, honestly. I think we just bounce. Alright, so we can only play one card. We can play Selfless Spirit or we can play Supreme Phantom. Supreme Phantom makes all of our dudes huge. And then we just attack and win. More lords. All the more lords. Yeah, I think we just play Supreme Phantom. If they block the Drog Skull Captain, they take 8 plus 5 is 13. No, they have a remand or something. Brutal. The Aether Vial being uh, totally useless here is kind of hurting us. Crazy game, though. Yeah, they kill the Hierarch. We don't have access to mana anymore. Okay, so let's look at our attacks here. Um, so this is 5 and 6 is 11, putting them to 2. I think we just attack with Spell Queller. Ah, uh, yeah, the Jace is a problem as well. We don't want them drawing three cards and then using the niv it like that. And if they bounce... Hmm, yeah. This is fine. Kill the Jace. Nice, we're going to be able to kill the Niv. That's pretty big. This thing has been drawing so many cards for the opponent and been pressuring my board. Getting rid of that is amazing. Probably. Could you imagine? The second Niv, let's go. Just slam it. Oh my god, they actually do? Uh, called out of the Aether. Can't be countered. If one is good, two must be better. Yeah, they also have the Borrower. Uh, they don't have the blue mana to cast it this turn. But it looks like they're going to be able to get rid of our Drog Skull Captain. They need one more damage onto it, and then our uh, creatures lose Hexproof. Kind of thinking about taking the damage on this one. Um, if I block with Supreme Phantom and they have that one last damage for Drog Skull Captain, we lose our Phantom as well. I'm just going to take four. This uh, saves the Phantom, is what we're trying to do here. Oh my. So they draw two cards. Oh, they're going to get so much uh, value out of the niv Mizzet here.
They still have seven cards in hand, too. And with these blue manas, they must be able to cast some spells. I mean, they have the Brazen Borrower at the very worst. But it looks like they have something else, maybe. Oh, Engineered Explosives on two. It's going to get rid of the Supreme Phantoms. And now they just need one more damage on the Spell Coil to get rid of that. Um, which will cast Anger of the Gods, which doesn't really do anything on this board. But I would say, oh, Snow-Covered Plains, there we go. Now we got our mana activated. But honestly, we're dead. Opponent has a pair of giant dragons and a Jace. Our mana's locked down. They've managed to unlock their mana. I think that's a good point, Blind. I'm going to go ahead and uh, follow through with that. So we know a little bit more about what the opponent's doing now. Could bring in Force of Negation for the Blood Moon and for their, um, their magics. Not sure Force of Negation is necessarily where I want to be. Instead of the Remorseful Cleric. Remorseful Cleric seems pretty bad here. Alright, we got the play. Let's uh, bury them. Hmm. Well, we got the two Cavern of Souls. We have two Basics. We have two Aether Vials. So as long as we draw gas, we're good. But like this is so much mana and so little gas. We don't have anything to play. And this hand, we cannot keep. It has no lands. Um, I guess we have to keep this. Our opponent is mulliganing along with us. So we have first turn Noble Hierarch. We have Force of Negation back up. We get rid of some of our three drops. Get rid of, um, yeah, get rid of the Skyclave and probably the Spell Queller. I think we're going to have to kind of like go aggressive. So I don't think we're going to have time to quell. We already have the Force of Negation as a counter spell. I think that we could have easily gone either way on the uh, the captain or the queller, um, but yeah, I, I've decided to keep the captain so that we can go aggressive. Either card discards to force and negation, which is one of the more important matters. Okay, we're gonna go get breeding pool to start and play noble hierarch. This is their chance. Here it comes. Bolt the bird. They pay the life. Here comes the bolt. There it goes. Bye bye birdie. Let's try it again. No bolt this time. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just play Supreme Phantom Pass. Could have also played Mausoleum Wanderer here. I think that would have been fine. Um, Wanderer, Wanderer probably would have been the better card. I think the UERs are all right. Um, it plays around uh, Remand better. And we could even play around the Silengar Scorn. So yeah, we should have played Wanderer here. Held up the one mana. Yeah. And I mean, we could have even played Wanderer and then attacked with a Hierarch for one. Oh, 
You're right. They revealed Sprite Dragon. Uh, Silgor Scorn. Uh, it's a counter spell if you reveal a dragon. Otherwise, it's a two mana four spike. Okay. Another Silmgar Scorn. Opponent is countering everything we have. Can't do anything about that Sprite Dragon this turn. But they only have one card left in hand. Collected Company with two mana. Deck, you are a troll. That's the plan, blind. Just keep on winning, keep on winning. Oh, they put Lightning Bolt back on top. Hurry up and ban Mystic Sanctuary already. Bolt the Hierarch. Makes sense. Take uh, Cut our mana off at the knees here. Engineered Explosives on one is going to get rid of our Aether Vial. I wonder if we blow the Force of Negation on this one. But they now have a 3-3 Sprite Dragon, so they're able to start attacking us. And that's going to be a fairly quick clock. Okay, we can put the Mausoleum Wander into play with the Aether Vial here. Start attacking them for as much damage as they're dealing to us. Okay, next turn we get Drogskull Captain with the Aether Vial. Then we can start attacking for some real damage. If we're really lucky, we get to keep our creatures for that long. Another Engineered Explosives on one. Brutal. Nothing we can do about that. Mausoleum Wanderer only counters instants or sorceries. So they're going to be able to get rid of our Aether Vial and our Mausoleum Wanderer here. That one land hand, though. Turn 9. Still only the one land. That's got to be something special. Okay. All right, this hand is great. We'll keep.
All right, so opponent has uh, satisfied with seven. Basic island, go. It's the run back. We're playing the same deck again. It's blue moon all over. Somebody doesn't really uh, familiar with their skips, it seems. Anyway, let's play the breeding pool and the hierarch. And we can six this turn and the opponents. Okay, so they're paying the life for the hollowed fountain. Um, they probably have like a remand or something. So let's just play Flooded Strand past the turn. We have access to Spell Queller or Rattle Chains. Rattle Chains is definitely one of our better cards in these uh, control matches, allowing us to play at Flash. I kind of want to let the Omen resolve so that we can um, counter a Teferi. And I should have got a Plains there, honestly. Okay. Should be good to attack for three on our turn. If they were going to do something to the rattle chains, they would have done it with a trigger on the stack. Okay, we get our turn. Would have really liked to land there, obviously. Uh, we'll just attack for three and pass. We have access to the Spell Queller and Drop Skull Captain at instant speed. Exactly, we're holding up Hexproof. They want to cast another Omen of the Sea, that's fine by me. Two cards on the bottom. And three damage to the face. Go ahead, opponent. Really hoping they blink here. Looks like they are. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spell quell that. Slap. Okay, just kind of hoping they don't have a path to exile here. Ah, oh, looks like they do. Drat. Yep, it's land for the Collected Company. Let's see what they do with the Teferi here. Maybe bounce one of their Omen of the Sea. Okay, they're going to return the Rattle Chains. So we're going to have a little bit of a hard time killing the Teferi here if we want to collect a company. But we might just kill Teferi, hold up Spell Queller, and Rattle Chains. Well, yeah, if we were good... We would have just drawn land there. I tell my deck that all the time. It never listens.
Monastery Mentor? Well, I definitely want to spell quell that. Do they have the other path? They do. Yeah, but that also gets us the mana we need for Collected Company. Or we could even go Rattle Chains Drog Skull Captain. And we can start putting up uh, incredible pressure in the air. One thing I do have to remember is they're going to have access to counter spells during their turn. But. No. Let's just skip the turn. We don't have anything to play. We have seven cards in hand, untapped mana for days. We have nothing. Nothing at all, opponent. Oh yeah, rattle those chains, captain those drugs, collect that company, no wait, we're going to leave this one in hand. Oh, I'm attacking for three, I think we just let that go. Oh, they have the Spell Snare. So we're just uh, SOL here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can Supreme Phantom, or we can double Drog Skull. Yeah, I think just double Drog Skull here. And then if we play three Supreme Phantoms next turn, those Drug Skulls are each lethal, or together are lethal. And we have company. Opponent only has two cards in hand. They Jace go up to three. So they could have quite a few prowess triggers on their monks. They can put up quite a bit of pressure this turn too. We rebuild faster than an Alabama tick. Gotta say, ticks are scary. No attacks. That is so surprising. I think that I would have attacked all in, even if I had nothing. I ain't got time to bleed. Another classic from uh, Predator. Kind of want to just hold up Collected Company here. We're going to attack for 8. Oh, well maybe opponent's doing something here and we can respond. One face, one Jace. Okay, they're going to opt. 
make a dude. What's going on, blind? Yeah, this is in my main. So I could still do stuff, but um, what else do I want to do besides maybe play the Phantoms? What they need to kill us next turn? Uh, Counterspell? We can quell... Yeah, if we collect a company on their end step. If they attack and do nothing... Hmm. I get, we gotta kill that Jace though, right? Okay, so they are going for uh, Cryptic Command here. We're gonna go ahead and Spell Quell that. This should be fine. Oh, keep the bird for a block. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Tap the waterlog grove instead. I was thinking about keeping an extra life point, but hierarch blocking monastery mentor would mean a lot more in the uh, the life department. Definitely killing the Jace. And we can kill them in one go next turn. Our dudes are so beefy, we can block a couple of the monks. But if they go like opt into opt into opt, we're in a lot of trouble. Well, fortunately, they've already played two ops and they played a land here. So we know they only have two cards in hand. Okay, so they're going to draw a bunch of cards with the Archmage Charm. It's pretty good for them. So yeah... They could smash us here pretty hard, depending on what they have in hand. They're short on mana. That's good news for us. Okay, ooh, another opt. That's a good one. So the monks here by themselves are already 12 damage. Oh, and they're going for the fetch here with Mystic Sanctuary um, with Opt on the stack. So they're going to be able to put Opt back on top of their library and then Opt into Opt, cast Opt. They could have, uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty excellent on their side. I think that uh, that just kills us. Um, we definitely have some blocks. 
But I think that that just kills all of our dudes. And then we don't have anything left to crack back with. Yeah, you're right, blind. If we had left the Noble Hierarch on tap, that might have been the difference. Could have bird blocked the Mentor. Yeah, that's um, one of the things I'm considering here. This puts us to one. Oh, the suspense is killing me. What is it? No way! It's nothing! No way! How did that happen? That's, um... GG! We take those. They must have had a sorcery in hand and uh, thought that it was an instant? I don't know what that could have been. Bring in Remorseful Cleric. Take out a Selfless Spirit and a Skyclave. Maybe we just use Force of Negation. Yeah, they could have thought that. Been hoping to use that counter spell. Um, although they should have just held priority on their own opt, unless they drew the counter spell from the opt. Minus one, rattle chains, one captain. I took out one of the sky claves here. Maybe I'm supposed to leave that in. Gotta have some answers to that monk, right? Okay, so we have three lands, and an Aether Vial, and a Hierarch, so we've got tons of mana. I do like having access to the Aether Vial as a way to uh, get our spells into play through Counter Magic. So even though this uh, hand is mana heavy, we're going to keep it. Uh, opponent did Mulligan, only once though. And we get another Aether Vial. Not really what I wanted to see here. We're just going to play Aether Vial Pass. Uh, yes, blind. This is uh, one of Queller's lists. I went onto the internet and shamelessly stole it. Which is what you do with internet stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking probably play Supreme Phantom Noble Hierarch, and then next turn we have access to Galactic Company or Spellqueller.
I like to think that, handsome. Imitation is uh, the most sincere form of flattery or whatever. Dr. Copper the Queller. Okay, here's the Mentor. Nothing we can do about that this turn. But maybe we'll get something with the Collected Company to deal with it. Let's find out while wow, they're tapped out. Oh, Skyclave Apparition. Maybe we just do that. We have access to four mana, so we can Skyclave and Aether Vial. Yeah, let's just draw the perfect card off the top every time, okay? All right, Blind, see you later. Okay, our leftovers are looking pretty hot, but we are uh, tapped out and defenseless uh, this one turn here. So let's see what the opponent does with it. If opponent does nothing while we're tapped out, we're doing pretty well. Hello from the crypt. Welcome, welcome. I am um, all right. So we just have access to all the things here. Uh, I think I just attack with Skyclave Apparition this turn and then do the stuff in response to something they do. Or just wait until end of the opponent's turn and do the stuff. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Why? When is that happening? Is that uh, going on today? Oh, it started yesterday. Okay. I haven't um, taken to doing any of the larger events simply because uh, my schedule is a little bit weird. So for now I'm content to just play in leagues. I have heard that um, the Mana Traders series is something special though. So anybody um, out there watching, if you want to play some excellent competitive magic, that is something that you should look into. Mystic Sanctuary for nothing. Opponent's got nothing. It's free with excellent prizes, from what I've heard. Oh my, they just let this resolve. Let's get our two spirits.
Oops, cancel that. I want to put it in with the Aether Vial. Okay, we've got quite the board here to attack the opponent with. And we have um, a Spell Queller up. So this one here is always no. And uh, yes to this one. Uh, Skyclave Apparition, okay. Um, Skyclave isn't too interesting here. I like this Spell Queller. Uh, let's go ahead and attack. Attack with everything except for the Hierarch is the plan here. One that's... Uh, still in the main. I thought I hit pass to attack. Weird. Um, just a quick count here. 3 is 6 is 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're just one off of lethal. And if we put the Spell Queller or Skyclave Apparition into play, it is lethal. Uh, yeah, they can opt. That's fine. We're looking more for that uh, Cryptic Command. That's the one we want to counter. Okay, they're going to draw a card. Oh, and gain four life. That's important. So we're nowhere near killing them this turn. Okay, knock them down to five and pass the turn. Have Spell Queller up as well as Apparition. Uh, the Mausoleum Wanderer could also counter their magic. Uh, you want to put Opt back on top of your library? You got it. I wonder, Vertex, um, I wonder if it's kind of like a Grand Prix in the sense that in some of the early matches you could get um, anybody, but once you get to the higher matches, like if you're you know, 4-0 and you're going up against the other people that are 4-0, then you're going to be getting some high quality magic, I imagine. Um, I'm also really into countering this Jace. Oh, it's just random the whole time? Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you for uh, letting me know. I think I quell this, and then if they have a counter spell, I can apparate it. So I'll just cast the spell queller. Oh, so they're going to use Tail's End to counter my Spell Queller ability and then concede. Um, not a big fan of this hand. We have four lands, three spirits. We don't have any acceleration. Um, yeah, this, this hand doesn't seem great. We do have something to do turn one, turn two, turn three. But... I'm just not really hyped about this hand. That is the question, Blind. That is the question. Is a random six better? It might not be, honestly. We, like I was saying, we have good stuff to do turns 1 and 2. We have something to do turn 3. We can get aggressive. 
And as long as we draw more spells off the top, this hand could be great. All right. I was pretty on the fence with it, leaning towards mulliganing, but um, I think we're going to keep it. Um, the self-talk and um, your consultation has got me leaning the other way now. We're going to keep it. Six out of ten says handsome. Doesn't quite merit the five out of seven, huh? Non-land, that's what I like to see. Okay, I think we'll just start with the Cavern of Souls, let them know what's up, and uh, keep our spells from getting countered ever. Name Cleric. I suppose once we have a Mausoleum Wanderer on the board, we shouldn't really hit the 6 button. We, we should just take that button off the keyboard and put it over to the side for a little while. Five color Valky? I think that's probably what it is. They were last seen playing a five color deck one day ago. I guess I could go ahead and uh, take a peek at the link here, but... I don't know, I'm kind of invested in the game. Let's just uh, do it the old-fashioned way and uh, see what they play turn by turn. Okay, they're going right into it. The Teferi on turn two. Uh, this only counters instants and sorceries, so Teferi is good. And they return our Mausoleum Wanderer to hand. I think we just play two Wanderers this turn. Now, Mausoleum Wanderers can still be activated during the opponent's turn, even though they have a Teferi. Um, Teferi says we cannot cast spells, but we can still activate abilities. Although the Teferi is countering our Rattle Chains quite well as well. Ooh, okay. So they're going to Violent Outburst, um, and then they just get their big Planeswalker. Just like that. Mausoleum Wanderer doesn't counter Planeswalkers. Um, we can counter the Violent Outburst, but that doesn't do anything. So they just go ahead and get this. Yeah, no kidding. I, I really don't get that they let this happen. It seems pretty obvious that uh, this combo was coming. Yeah, I think you're right, Handsome. This is broke wide open, but I mean, we were kind of expecting this to happen, honestly. And now we're just fighting with their walkers the whole time. Pretty frustrating. Um, I think we probably just play Rattle Chains or Selfless Spirit. We'll play the Selfless Spirit, kill the Teferi, and hit to bolt. From the crypt. You're totally right. Totally right.
Okay, so they have access to our spell queller now through Tibble. <laughs> All right, thanks for dropping in a Burakima. This cascade is bullshit. Get out of here. But uh, we knew the deck was tier um, zero. So coming into the league, we expected to fight it. Um, kind of surprised that uh, it took five matches to finally see it. And I think that if it uh, doesn't get emergency banned, that uh, we're probably going to pick this deck up so that we get a chance to play it before it gets banned out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The flip side is the, uh, or the, the rule change is the only thing that we actually really need. They don't have to ban the card, they can just make the rule change. It doesn't even um, change any of the rules as written on any of the cards. Now, does it say cast or play? Play the cards. So they can even play lands. <laughs> Once he just lets some people have some fun. Isn't that what magic is about? Having fun doing broken things? Ooh, that is a lot of ticks. I think that would make it, uh, if we played it, that would be the most expensive deck we ever played. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, quite the charge. Okay, so they play the Windswift Heath. It's a good question, Handsome. I would have to look it up to see uh, what I would get charged for it. I think I have. I think I paid two point four percent on the deck, so it would still be quite a bit. What, like thirty bucks to rent it for a week? Womp womp. I think we might be in garbage time already. But I mean, this is turn four, this is modern, so in that sense it's fine. Oh, it could be much worse. I mean, we're almost ready to go on Collected Company, too. Collected Company our turn? Yeah. I should have actually done it in the main. Um, I moved to a combat here. I should have waited. I should have Collected Company first so we know what we were getting. And now I have to declare my attacks. So I don't know like how big my Mausoleum Wanderers are going to get, for example. Um, they should grow by two. So I think I have to get everything at Tybalt to kill it unless I hit Lord. Uh, I really wish I had cast this Collected Company before I declare attackers. See you later, Burkima. Thanks for stopping by. We only get Drog Skull Captain. I think that's still enough to uh, to kill the Tybalt, though. Looks like they have something. Um, maybe a kill spell for the Drop Skull Captain. They're going to stomp it. 
So we could counter this. We could make our selfless spirit so that we get to keep our Drog Skull Captain. I think we just counter it with a Mausoleum Wanderer. I mean, if the Drog Skull, we could selfless. Yep, I wanted to keep the selfless around for another turn so that we could keep it for the Drog Skull Captain. Either way, we're losing damage going at the Tibble. And this way, the Bone Crusher Giants in the graveyard instead of uh, ready to cast. This time, this time it's better. I know that you've uh, definitely served up some superior lines in the past. And now they cast a row. Yep. Draw a card, gain some life, play an extra land. And we've just spending, been spending all of our time trying to kill this uh, Planeswalker here. Instead of doing damage to the opponent. Another Coco. Cool. I guess we'll just go ahead and cast the Collected Company here. Oh, they have three mana up for the Spell Queller. Damn. So we can't collect a Company. Okay, so what do we send at Tybalt? Do we just send everything? Okay. I guess we just send everything at Tybalt, get that off the board so they can stop gaining all this ridiculous advantage. No, it looks like they're going to let us kill Tybalt. So they no longer have access to Spell Queller? No, they always have it. Okay. Because, yeah, I'd say it's an emblem. It's not um, a static effect of the Planeswalker. From the, uh, the way that it was uh, formatted, I see the line of text at the top. So I thought it was like uh, some of the other Planeswalkers where we've seen before. <laughs> yeah, those Shackle Geists. Uro's crazy. There are so many good cards in Modern. And for one to stand out as much as Uro does, you know it's crazy good. Alright, we're going to put down the Rattle Chains, see if that uh, merits the Spell Queller from the opponent. What does Joyce have to say about Uro? Oh, I definitely agree with that. If you look at how Uro compares to Kroxa, you can see that Uro just has, like, better things, and it does more. So yeah, if they had taken any one of those out, I think the card would have been um, much more fair. Okay, so we got rid of the Spell Queller, at least. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Kind of scared here with the Collected Company. They have five cards in hand. Um, they could definitely just be holding Cryptic Command. Okay, they're doing something. Let's see what they're going to do. Oh, they're thinking better of it. Maybe it's nothing. Oh, they're going to cast the Rattle Chains, and they no longer have access to Cryptic Command. So I'm going to um, go ahead and cast Collected Company here. Oh, no, I don't like the look of that. Untapped Watery Grave, they definitely got something. Going to be an Archmage Charm here? No, not with the Temple Garden. Force of Negation, yes. That makes sense. Okay. We can probably just scoop here. I think we've lost this game. Opponent is uh, overwhelming advantage. Oh, that's a good point, too. We could spend their clock, yep. So we're going to bring in Force of Negation and Damping Sphere. Um, Damping Sphere is going to make it a little bit more difficult for them to cascade into things. Force of Negation actually counters their Planeswalkers. Minus white cards, yep. That's a lame way to win. Let's just try and find a path to victory first, and then we'll worry about looking cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean now. Um, okay, I thought you were talking about uh, something else. No, um, winning due to the clock, like, it's a win, but it's a garbage win. Totally agree. We take them, but we don't go for them. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I've definitely had some popper games go to time. Okay, um, this hand is fine, we'll keep it. Gonna want to keep that rattle chains for the force of negation. Our opponent is mulliganing. Alright, so our first play is pretty obvious, uh, Mausoleum Wanderer. I think so we'll just probably just play the Hollowed Fountain to uh, put that onto the board. Okay. Another land. Yeah, that's uh, that's a really good option, blind. 
Deafening Silence, um, what is that? Players can't cast more than one non-creature spell a turn or something like that? Alright, so we're going to go get Basic Planes. Or maybe we get Temple Garden. Let's get Temple Garden. Play the Selfless Spirit and attack for two. Yeah, that's true. They can still play Valky as Valky. That would get around the Force of Negation. Simeon Spirit Guide, okay, so here comes the thing. Okay, here's the Violent Outburst, that resolves. Here's Valky, and here's Tybalt. Countered. Okay, we are pretty much out of gas here. Uh, let's play the Misty Rainforest so we can thin the deck. Play the Mausoleum Wanderer so we get the extra damage. And attack for four. Okay, that's a good sign. Well, it's not Collected Company, but Drog Skull Captain's pretty good, especially with Mausoleum Wanderers to back it up. Very nice. That's some damage. Take nine. Alright, what's the thing? What do you got? You're going to block with a 3-1. Okay. That is fine. And yeah, that makes sense as to which one you would block. Get rid of the Selfless Spirit so they can potentially cast a Sweeper next turn. Oh, it's a tap land. Nice. If they had the untap land there, this could have been sweeper. And they just concede. Wicked. Okay, Force of Negation really pulling its weight there. I would definitely say Force of Negation won that game. Don't even feel bad. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Kind of slow, but uh, we have the Force of Negation, we have the Damping Sphere, and our opponent is mulliganing quite heavily. Yeah, it could be one or the other. Really good or just really terrible. Yep, you're right. Cannot cast the Apparition with this hand. It's just dead right now. Really hoping the um, 
force of negation is going to do something. Oh, Collected Company is decent. Again, uncastable currently. I think we'll just play Flooded Strand. No, we'll play the Breeding Pool tapped to start. We want to draw more lands, so no sense thinning the deck when we actually want to draw lands. Another Damping Sphere. All right, I think we'll play the Forest here. Play the Damping Sphere so they cannot play um, Valky this turn. They got a thing. This is going to be Teferi. I'm wondering if we're supposed to force the Teferi. They only have three cards in hand. I think we force it. Moreland Haunt, not very good, except that it lets us cast Collected Company next turn. I kind of want to play the second sphere, honestly. It'll make it even more difficult for the opponent to cast uh, two spells in a turn. And we can go ahead and fetch here. Four lands is what we were really looking for. Although another white land would be really good. Uh, let's go get Hollowed Fountain. Hey, another white source. Excellent. We'll play the Moreland Haunt and pass the turn. All right, let's see what kind of counter magic they have. Mystic Dispute. It is a non-land. Thanks, Como. For the most part, we managed to avoid the uh, the menace. Um, just running into Cascade Tibalt for the final match of the league. Yep, they can do the Cascade thing now. So our double damping spheres slowed them down, but our hand was uh, not good enough to actually do anything. Maybe we should have held on to the Collected Company until they made a move. Oh wow, that really jumped up in the last little while. I swear, last time I looked at the viewers, it was at 6. Okay, so here comes um, our worst nightmare. Hey there, Chuck. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you managed to join in just at the uh, the end here, as we're going to get crushed by the Cosmic Imposter. You and me both, Como. You and me both. That would really shake up the format. 
and just land. <laughs> Leave Simeon Spirit Guide alone. That's got to go too. So we can do a whole lot of nothing with this Skyclave Apparition here. I think that uh, we're pretty toast. Opponent should be able to finish us pretty quickly, but um, let's see what happens. Well, they got another Valky, so they're going to be able to play that and steal the Skyclave Apparition. Good question. Why didn't I Skyclave the Tibalt? It's so big, I should be able to see it. The reason, I mean. The casting cost is too big. Sorry, I was just being a bit of, um... Having a little bit of fun there. It's all good. It's all good. There's a lot of things going on in this game. And you think, like, Tibalt, it's coming off of a Cascade for three. So we should definitely be able to Skyclave Apparition anything any permanent and violent outburst puts into play, right? Wrong. I think we should actually fetch here. I should have done it on um, opponent's end step. But we don't want to be drawing more lands here. So let's fetch before, uh, before we draw a card. Drog Skull Captain. Well, we can Skyclave the Teferi. But we can't get the Drog Skull Captain into play because of the damping spheres. Okay, so yeah, these Damping Spheres, they just slow the opponent down, but they're also kind of slowing us down. I think they're going to be um, generally better against uh, other matchups as opposed to this one. It just doesn't do enough, I think. So yeah, I think that in the current meta, these Damping Spheres should definitely be um, the enchantment we were talking about before. Kind of like Rule of Law. What is that? Deafening Silence? That's exactly the one. Yep, that's the one we were talking about. Okay, so they're going to exile our Skyclave Apparition, which means they can cast it. Unfortunately, our Aether Bile is on two, so we cannot save our creature with our captain. I think they probably take the Aether Bile here. Yep, they do. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just take our turn. We have no spirits in the graveyard to use the Moreland Haunt with. Mausoleum Wanderer. Hey there, blind. You want me to open a chest? That's awesome. Uh, this game will be over soon, so if you can just wait till the end, we'll uh, get right to it. Damon Wynn, thank you for the raid. How did your stream go?
Oh, that's awesome. Big fan of Devoted Druid over here. I played the uh, Devoted Druid combo decks for many years. Oh, that's sweet. With stuff that you own. Do you mean like actually playing real magic too? I heard that some people do that. Play with real cards with real people. How crazy is that? I think we can just concede here, honestly. We're out of resources. Opponent has tons of resources. Yeah, we're out of this. We don't need to waste any more time here. <laughs> 